Welcome to Chapter 11. The topic of this chapter is Predictive Analytics, Part 2, Classification. As we saw in the previous chapter, we used regression analysis as a predictive analytics when the outcome variable is numbers. If the outcome variable is categories, we should use classification algorithms instead of regression. In this chapter, we focus on classification as a method of predictive analytics. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to explain the popular classification algorithms, logistic regression, and decision tree. Explain what ensemble learning is and why it performs better than a single model. And explain how to evaluate the performance of a classification model. As the first section, let me talk about what is classification and some use cases. Classification is a type of supervised learning. Classification algorithms are machine learning algorithms that can be used when we want to predict categories. There are many machine learning algorithms for classification. This is a list of popular algorithms, but it is not comprehensive. Explaining all of these algorithms is beyond the scope of this course. So, I use logistic regression and decision tree as example to simplify the explanation. In usual cases, both regression and classification use many predictor variables to predict the outcome. The notable difference is the type of outcome variable. In regression, the outcome is a numerical variable. It can take any values or a certain range of values. In classification, the outcome is categories. So, it can take two or more values that are not numbers. For example, a classification model can predict the result of entrance exam, that is, pass or fail. A classification model can predict outcomes with more than two categories, such as color. In classification problems, a category of the outcome is also called a class. The most simple case of classification is a binary classification problem. In a binary classification problem, the outcome variable can take only two values. For example, using employee data, we can predict who will churn and who will not. Here, the outcome variable can take two categories, churn or not churn. Many of our binary classification problems can be regarded as a yes or no problem. In a binary classification problem, we assign value to each category of the outcome variable to convert it to numbers so that we can apply machine learning algorithms. Usually, we assign yes cases to 1 and no cases to 0. So, in a binary classification problem, the outcome variable takes two values, 0 or 1. As a jargon, we call cases classified into 0 as negative and those classified into 1 as positive. The words positive and negative just means yes or no. They do not have connotation of desirability. So, depending on the problem, positive cases are not the desirable cases. The positive just means that the focal event occurs. For example, in employee churn prediction, positive means that an event of employee churn occurs. So, positive cases are churn, not a desirable event for the company. Popular use cases of binary classification are customer churn prediction, company bankruptcy prediction, spam email detection, and automated medical diagnosis. Thank you for watching. Please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.